I've eliminated my targets on Belmora. Old Walleye confirm. It looks like things got messy, but you made a clean getaway. Credit for Admiral Ivernus goes to you. Keep it up and we'll know you weren't just lucky. Luck out. Welcome to Nar Shaddaa, Hunter. Sleaziest place in the galaxy. Your target is the Eidolon, a professional assassin with a right scary reputation. Branded himself as the assassin who could kill absolutely anybody. For the right price, of course. Spent several years proving it, too. His background is a mystery, but he used to do a lot of work for the Hut Cartel. I'd suggest looking up Gellerin, a Twi'lek who works for the Cartel. Word is he hates the Eidolon more than just about anybody. Oh, and when you find your bounty hunter rival, give him my best before you blast him to pieces. Happy hunting. Narshida. I always knew I'd find my way back here, just didn't picture it quite like this. You're from Narshida originally? Yep. Grew up on the streets. Those were some nasty times. Then Brayden took me away from all that. A few things you should know. The Hut Cartel pretty much runs this place, with the Exchange and various gangs trying to carve out their own peace. Krista mentioned Gellerin might help us track down the Eidolon. I remember that Twi'lek. Used to be a scummy slaver. Had a bad rep. A real ruthless creep. Let's hope he decides to be cooperative. You'll convince him. You have a way with people. A lot of things might have changed while I was away. Let me track him down. Should we head to the promenade and see what Galleron has to say? I'm sick of excuses. I'll feed all you worthless slugs to a rancor if I have to. You hear what? Hey, excuse me? Hey, nobody just walks in here, huh? Nobody. I'm a bounty hunter hunting the Eidolon. Interested? The Eidolon? What? You're kidding me, right? No. Come, tell me you're kidding. You're, you're not kidding. All right, I'll bite. Boys, hey, get out of here. Get us some refreshments. The Eidolon did some work for us, you know. He could kill anybody, anywhere. This guy was unbelievable. Killing folks ain't that hard. Anyone could kill a gank on the street. But the Eidolon specialized in impossible targets. But then, at the top of his game, the Eidolon announces he's getting out of the assassination business. Opened a security company. Suddenly, half the corporations here were clients of Eidolon security. And we're no longer paying the Hut Cartel. Hey, Gellerin, I haven't finished slicing those casino lugjack machines. But I thought that... Anuli? That's Mako! Everyone said she was dead! The Rodian brothers grabbed her! Someone saved me from those antenna heads, Anuli. A good friend. He took me away to Hutta. You two know each other? Anuli and I grew up together on the streets. He's like my little brother. Can we get back to business? Yes? Look, nobody knows how to find the Eidolon, but if you hurt his company, he'll find you. I've seen it before. The Eidolon's biggest client is the Republic. Eidolon Security supplies those ganks with billions of credits worth of munitions every year. Is Eidolon Security actually allied with the Republic? It's a business. It allies with the biggest bank account, and the Republic's got a pretty impressive one. Eidolon Security's got a stockpile of munitions bound for the Republic Army. Crates are at their manufacturing facility in the Karelian Sector. If that facility were to blow up, the Eidolon would owe the Republic billions of credits, which I'm guessing, hey, he ain't got just lying around. Can't use thermal detonators. Too small. Need beradium charges, like the ones Brel made before he blew up. Hang on, hang on. Wait, hey, you're hearing that out of context. Brel blew himself up because he got cocky. These beradium charges are perfectly safe. You got my word. I've seen how much that's worth. Hey, that hurts. What would I gain if you blew yourself up? Huh? I need you, buddy. The charges are magnetic. You gotta put them on the power generators for maximum yield. One in the control center, too. A facility that size will have several generators. It's pretty standard. They'll be easy to spot. The charges are on a synchronized timer. Now, after you planted the last one in the control room, set the timer, then get out of there. Stop! I've been watching you on the surveillance monitors. I know what you're doing. You've got to stop. Please! 
There are dozens of civilian technicians and engineers working here. If you blow up this facility, they'll all be killed. Maybe they should be getting out of here, then. Our security chief disabled evacuation alarm. They don't want this attack made public. I only need a few minutes to round up my crew and get them out of here. Do what you will afterwards. Do it. Hurry. Thank you. Did you feel it? Huh? <laughs> the Idolot's property will rain down on the streets for days. I could already hear his holo conversation with the Republic. Were those our billions of credits going up in smoke? <laughs> Let's get back to business. Right, right. We still got a job to do. All right, Eidolon security ain't down for the count yet. I got some discretionary funds from the cartel to deal with these sorts of problems. I think you've earned more than a few. Hunter's gotta know. Galloran should talk about it. Mako said it was important. She said so. Wait, what did you find, Anuli? Oh, for the love of frying and credits, we're discussing business here. Strange weapon orders. Armor plating, blaster cannons, defense shields. Shipped to an abandoned warehouse in the Dural sector? Makes no sense. Armor plating. Hang on, that sounds really familiar. Let me check something. Talk to me, Mako. I asked Anuli to help me watch for possible bounty hunter rivals and to look out for anything weird. And this is... Even for Nar Shada. Nobody ships expensive hardware to empty buildings. Or if they do, they hide it better. Here it is, the Zargnor clan. I knew those weapon parts sounded familiar. A clan of Ugnaughts got into the Great Hunt by building a bizarre war droid that they would ride inside of. The thing's blaster cannons blew up during the Grand Melee. Everyone was killed except the Ugnaughts inside the armored droid, making them the winners. Wished I'd seen that. Worth the price of admission, that's for sure. Hey, as possible rival bounty hunters go, these might not be too bad. Assuming they haven't finished their new war droid. But it'd probably be a good idea to get them before they finish. You're assuming they haven't blown themselves up. Yeah, maybe they already have. You never know. The warehouse they ship the parts to is in a really sketchy part of town. It'll be tough to get to. Look, hey, I don't know what this is about, and I don't think I want to know. Take care of your personal business. When you get back, we'll chat more about the idol. <laughs> What are you little fellas building? Are you building a war droid? Will this one blow up like before? Your droid isn't even done. Don't make me kill you. <laughs> 